everyone, I'm Kiana and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Nintendo Switch. So I tried looking on YouTube for other tutorials but they were pretty complex and outdated so I'm going to be showing you an updated simpler version. I've also included links in the description to the mod host so that if this video ever gets outdated then you can have the direct link to the creators themselves for the updated versions. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, you're going to see if your Switch is moddable by going to ismyswitchpatch.com. Don't worry, I'm going to leave links to every site in the description so it'll be easier to follow along. All right, so now that we're here, you're gonna see it's asking you for your serial number. So to find that, go to the settings on your Switch. Then scroll all the way down to system. Scroll all the way down once again, and you're going to see serial information. Click on that and then you'll see your serial number and then the letters in the beginning are your prefix. Go back to ismyswitchpatch.com and select your prefix and then input just the numbers after the prefix. And bam, it says my switch is okay to mod. How you can tell is it's green instead of red. So if, you're, so if it's red, your switch has been patched and this video will not work for you. Sorry about that. Moving on for those whose switches aren't patched, you're going to need an RCM jig. You can easily get one on Amazon. Here's a link to the one that I bought. It's pretty reliable and a good price. I've been using it for a while now and I haven't had any problems. And if you have Prime, you get free shipping, so it gets to you pretty fast. Okay, so now that you have all of that, let's get started on modding. First, we're going to go to Ridge Crop in order to format our SD card into FAT32. So the way that you download the software is by clicking on the image and it should prompt the download. Next, we're going to need Tegra RCM. It comes in an installer or portable zip. I prefer the installer. All right, afterwards, we're going to need to download Atmosphere. The current version at the time of this recording is 1.2.1. .1. So we're going to download the zip along with the fuse.bin. We will need that later. Next, we're going to download some patch files for Atmosphere. Since we're using fuse as our bootloader, we're going to download the fuse zip. Next, we're going to need to download Skyline. Skyline is no longer included as a package in Acropolis, so we're going to have to download it separately. So download the Skyline zip. Last, we're going to download Acropolis. We're going to click on the release.zip file and download it. All right, now it's time to get modding. So first, we're going to format our SD into a FAT32. We're going to verify which drive our SD card is in. So for me, it's K. But before we format, if you have any files on your, or content on your SD drive, I recommend backing them up onto your computer because this is going to erase everything on your card. But don't worry about your games being gone because Nintendo remembers what you've purchased and you'll be able to re-download them again once we're done. So I'm going to go to the GUI format and run it. Next I'm going to verify it's set to format drive K. We're going to change the allocation unit size to 65536 and then start. The reason we want the higher allocation size is to prevent our files from becoming corrupted because then it becomes a hassle to mod all over again. Okay, now we can open up our SD drive and begin to extract the mods into it. So first we're going to start with Atmosphere. Open up the zip and drag everything into your SD drive. Okay. Then we're going to open up Acropolis, which is labeled as released, and then drag the folder atmosphere into the SD drive. It's a small file, so it'll look like nothing transferred, but it did. Then we're going to extract the fuse.zip file to our SD drive. This contains our 13.1 patches for the switch. So drag all those files to your card. All right, so here comes the next part, which is tricky, so pay attention. We're going to open up Skyline and you're going to want to open up your Atmosphere folder on your SD card. Then open the Contents folder and open up your 01006A folder. Then drag and drop the XF folder into there. Okay, so now we can go back to the root of our SD card. Now remember how I mentioned earlier about the fuse.bin? You're going to want to drag that somewhere easily accessible. For instance, I'm just going to drag it on my desktop. Leave it there and we'll just get back to later. Now we're going to install Tegra. Hit next. 
For me, it says modify because I already have it, but it should say install. Hit download and then run through. Okay, now I'm going to download a skin mod for this demonstration. I'm going to download an Ocarina of Time link skin mod. Now that I have it downloaded, I'm gonna go back to my SD drive and create a folder called Ultimate in all lowercase letters. Then open it up and create another folder called Mods in all lowercase. Then extract a skin mod into the folder. Next, we're going to safely eject the SD card and put it into our Switch. And then we're going to inject the mods into our Switch. So we're going to open up Tegra and click on Settings, and click on Install Drives. You're going to want to do this the first time you're on this program, because if you don't, the injection won't work. Let's go back to the Fuse Bin file. We're going to select that as our payload. You're going to want to click the little folder icon and select the Fuse Bin as your payload. Now we're going to set up our Nintendo Switch using the RCM jig. But first, let's make sure that our SD card's in. Okay, so now we're going to take off the right Joy-Con and then slide the RCM jig in. Okay, so now that the RCM jig is in the switch, we're gonna wanna plug a USB-C cord into the switch that will connect to your computer. All right, so before that, we're gonna make sure that the switch is turned off, and then you're going to press the power button and the top plus button at the same time while you plug in the USB-C cord, like that. Okay. So you'll know you did this right if you look at your Tegra and you see on your Nintendo Switch, it goes from red to the green RCM. If you didn't do it correctly and your Switch turns on, just let it boot and then shut it off and press plus and power button again. Just a warning guys, if you ever turn your Switch completely off, you're going to have to redo the injection process with the USB-C cable if you wanna use your mods. So just keep that in mind. Now that we're all set up, all we're going to do is click Inject Payload. All right, so our switch booted up, so that's good. And you can see the atmosphere here, so we're in the clear. <laughs> now we can verify our mods by going to our album and seeing if they're there. Watch my gameplay, so there you go. You have your switch modded. If you have any questions about mods, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. So thank you guys so much for watching this and if you could please leave a like and subscribe. I put a lot of time into researching how to mod your Switch and into creating this video so it would really help me out and to create more videos like this. So once again, thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But wait, there's more. If you want homebrew mods, go to sdsetup.com and then download the recommended defaults. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and download the zip. Then just open the downloaded zip file. Click on the SD folder and transfer all the files to the SD card. You'll be asked to replace files with same name, but just click skip these files. Our files are more up to date. Now repeat the injection process. And you'll see on your album folder that you have the homebrew app store and more mods. Enjoy.